Hi everyone, I have something a little bit different today. I'm going to just do some patterns basically and some of you will remember the book that I reviewed Abstract Watercolour by Kate Rebecca Leach. So um, this is where I'm getting my inspiration from. You can see on the front cover here but also on page 21 we have this and it's just really to play with color and do a bit of mark making so um, that's what I'm using for my inspiration I will put a link to the book down below in the description I'm going to be using some Michael Harding paints but the colors that I have chosen are buff titanium Cosmic Blue, Lilac and Neutral Tint. So that's a little mixture there. And then I've also got out some pencils. So let me see. We have got the darkest one is a Derwent Lightfast and it's called Midnight Blue. Then next to that, here, we have got Polychromos Ultramarine. And then the lighter blue is a Polychromos Sky Blue. And then the final pencil is a Polychromos and it's called Sand. I've also got out a Uniball Signo gold pen. I've got a 0.5 fine liner, black fine liner here. I'm also, I might not use all of these, but I'm, I've got them out at the ready. I'm also thinking I might use this Aqua Bronze by Schminke. And for that, I've already put it in this little plastic container with some water because it's a powder and you really need to mix it up quite well. So um, that's why I put it in a container because it seems to work a lot better. And just in case, our trusty Dr. PH Martins bleed proof white. So those are the materials. I am using 300 GSM cold pressed watercolour paper and I've divided my paper into eight small um, lines. Anyway, I've divided it into eight um, ready for, for me to have a um, play with I used a pencil to do the lines but then once I'd used my pencil I used this I don't know whether they're called putty rubbers or um, anyway it's Faber Castell and it, they come in these little plastic things here um, let's get that out of the light if we can. There you go. So it doesn't actually say Goma, Goma Pan. There's no English on here, but um, I think they're called little putty, putty rubbers. Um, it just means that the pencil lines are a bit fainter now and so that they won't show up so much when I do my painting. So, along with my paints, I've pulled out a couple of brushes. They're my Van Gogh brushes. I've got a size 8 and a size 4. I've got my sponge container here ready. And then just out of shot is the water. So, there we go. Let us get started. I don't know whether to start at the top or the bottom. Let's start at the top and work our way down for it to dry, maybe. 
So I think I'm going to start with putting the lavender down. So let's get some of this lavender in there. Not sure that I'll be able to get terribly straight lines, but I'm not sure that that matters too much. And I want a fair bit of water in it so that I can then add, what shall we add? The buff titanium, maybe. Let's add the buff titanium to this. And let it do its thing so that we've got something interesting going on so there is our first line now I'm going to start with the cosmic blue for the next one And we will add the buff titanium to that and let it do its thing. These are all going to run in, as you can see, to make really interesting effects. Maybe we'll miss one and go to the next one down. And we will have some neutral tint. Oh, I didn't miss one down, did I? Well, that's about right for me. I don't think it matters too much. And I'm adding the lavender. Oh, we've got some lovely effects going on, haven't we? Right, let us do the buff titanium first, maybe. Maybe we will miss one. and lavender so we've just got that one going like that I'm just using these lines as a how can I put it just as a guide I suppose cosmic blue really shoots up and we probably need a bit more neutral tint so I'm purposely going right up to the top of these to um, We'll make this one quite a dark one with the. Oops. Oh, look at that! Oh, wow. I love it. We need a bit more. It obviously spreads really well, that neutral tint, doesn't it? So, but we're not worried about things um, spilling into each other. 
that's not a problem and I think I want the neutral tint at the bottom to kind of ground it a bit perhaps we'll kind of curve it like that and then let's put our lavender in And I know that there are some little white spaces. I'm not bothered about that. I'm going to be using pens and crayons so I can um, tidy that up a little bit. But I think whilst we're here, I will bring that up. But then I'm going to dry it so that I can then add more paint in there. So um, just while it's wet that's what we're looking at but let's um, let's dry that off okay that is now dry so this is what it looks like dry and let's just get that lined back up again there we go so I think I'm going to start with putting my phone on silent <laughs> oh, get me never mind I think I'm going to start with making some of these lines a bit more prominent and I might just turn it round a little bit in order to do that um, this needs some dividing and notice I'm not I'm not using a ruler I'm just going to um, eyeball it and I'm going to make it a double line and I'm not sure if that yeah I think you can just about see that there uh, and then I changed my mind and I've pulled out this Pilot GTEC C4 and it's a 0.4 and it, so it's got quite a fine nib on it and I'm just going to do some little lines coming down Hoping I'm not getting my head in the shot. I do have a habit of doing that. And I'm sure none of you really want to see my grey hair. Right. Um, and I think we'll just put some little dots on the bottom of there. I'm not lining them up. I'm just randomly putting little dots along the bottom. And then the same above, I think. So in that book, there are lots of ideas for making marks. And using different materials to do that. This is just what I felt like doing today. I just, I didn't want to do anything in particular. I just wanted to be creative and play, basically. So if I bring that up a bit closer, you can see I've got that double line of gold. And then I've done these little lines and little um, dots as well so we've just added to break that line up there I think let's take our gold again and maybe we need 
something at the bottom and something at the top so I'm just going to go with little oh you can see those quite well on the dark I'm just going to go with little circles random some bigger than others just so it's that I've got kind of a a bottom edge if you like This gold works really well over this neutral tint. So there we go. We have got some little gold circles randomly placed in the bottom there. Now, I think we probably need something in here. What do we need? Maybe could we use our sand pencil and get something in there? Maybe that's not going to show up. Okay, maybe we go for bleed proof white then with my small size 4 brush. And maybe we just very carefully put some white dots again, very random. Of course, if you like pattern, you could do yours in a very patterned manner. Okay. So let's move up a bit. Let's leave that there for a minute and think about this next section. Perhaps we will take our ultramarine and just get this blue line across there and we could add to that will it show up I don't know it will show up at the bottom won't it mm, maybe we get echo our dots And get some little blue dots in so there we go that's what we've got moving up right let's go back to our gold now and do something a little bit different in the middle here let's do a wavy line So we've got that wavy line going on and maybe we will have these gold ovals. And then inside those gold ovals Let's go for the Midnight Blue. There. So we've got a wavy line and then some ovals that I've coloured in with the midnight blue. Right, moving onward and upward. 
let's see what else we can add in here I think the gold seems to be really effective but let's maybe go with the black because we need to ring the changes a little bit so with the black I think perhaps we will have some shapes that we fill in I'm going to need to move that round slightly Trying not to touch what I've done below in case it's not dry. So I'm doing these little um, V shapes and then I'm just going to not completely fill them in, I'm putting little lines inside them. There's some little downward lines. And I think we'll make that line darker. So there we go. We've got these little downward lines. And perhaps in this one, we'll use some of this gold. Ooh. Oh, look at that molten gold. Let's clean my brush off. It's still got bleed proof white on it. And let's get some of this and put some nice gold dots everywhere. and make some a bit smaller oh yes while well, we've got the gold out I wonder whether can I get a line with this gold yes I can very nice okay well that's looking rather lovely now we've got quite a dark color here I might actually I'm gonna do something to save me <laughs> mudging what I've already done there um, I've just turned it upside down basically so I think now um perhaps we will put this beige line going in here or sand rather and perhaps we need some ovals going the other way sizes perhaps some that are halfway just so it doesn't look too uniform okay and I'm gonna color those in now with this sand color
like that. Um, we've got a couple left. So what shall we do with those? I think we probably need to add some of our gold pen in again, don't we? So let's do our gold pen across the top there. In fact, why don't we do lots of lines on this one? Because we want to ring the changes, don't we? And these are not straight lines. There, so we've got some lines there. And then let's go back to our what I'm calling liquid gold and we will just put some little just using my brush to make a kind of a almost like a leaf shape okay so we've got that in there now right what shall we do at the top here hmm we could go back to using our dark Midnight Blue pencil and I think rather like we've got a border at the bottom perhaps we need to kind of match that at the top like that. Now it seems like that line needs a bit of defining to me. So let's go back here and have some of this and do dots. To just define that line a bit. Hmm. Okay. So I guess it doesn't really matter which way up we go, but there we go. So we've got all this going on. That would make a nice cover to put on, on the front of a sketchbook, maybe, I think. I'm going to dry this off. No, I'm not. Oh, there's always one last thing, is there not? I think, because I've used white only in one place, I need to use white elsewhere. So... what shall we do and where perhaps at the top here perhaps we'll go inside some of those circles or all of them even why not
Anyway. Okay, I think just adding that white has kind of balanced it a little bit more and perhaps we'll do the same down here or not or let's do them like this. I suppose you could just keep going with this really couldn't you there is that danger of knowing when to stop mm. I'm not sure whether I'm going overboard now. <laughs> right, let's leave it. Just stop, Michelle. Pop my lid on that so I don't spill it anywhere. Okay. Um, I am going to dry that off take off the masking tape and let you see what we have. Right, let's get this masking tape off. So, I need an end. Is that an end? Ah, here we go. There's an end. Somewhere to start. Okay. Right, we have that off, and I will bring this up for you to see. There we go. I think that's rather pretty. If we I pick this one back up, if we look, it's not exactly the same, obviously, and it is a different colorway. But what a lovely inspiration and I rather like that and I particularly like the Schmincke's Aqua Bronze um, and the Bleed Proof White to add some highlights and things. So um, there you go, something to do when you just want to play and I think that's also a good idea for perhaps testing out colours for a painting you could come up with your idea like this and pick out some other shall we call them accessories like the gold and the bleed proof white um, do something like this and then when you're thinking of doing a painting perhaps a uh, perhaps there's a, a, a landscape with a little house in the background and you can you can think do you know what I really like this colorway I'm going to use these colors and mix them to make the colors that I want because they all mingle in really nicely um, and I think that's a nice way to test out colours and palettes for use on another day. And I think it's a bit nicer than, than this one. This one? This one. I think I like this one. 
<laughs> okay um enough of that right uh have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world um take care look after yourselves stay calm stay healthy do subscribe if you can it really really helps me thank you to those of you that are supporting me um and look out for many more videos um yeah lots more things to come okay bye for now